Hello, good morning. This is Valreen here. Thanks for joining me this morning. Now in our last video, we actually calculated how much fabric we will need for a flat sheet and we use a queen bed as our example. Now in order to make a fitted sheet, a flat sheet for a double bed, a king bed, a single bed, you can use the same calculations we did in that video because all you need to do is to adjust your measurements accordingly. Okay, so instead of measuring for a flat sheet, you will just measure for a, a fitted sheet. Okay, and use the same calculation to see how much fabric you will need for your fitted sheet. Now let's go ahead and calculate how much fabric we will need for your queen pillowcase. Now you can use this same calculation to do for your king pillowcase or your double pillowcase or even your throw cushions. All you need to do is to adjust your measurements accordingly. Okay, so in the top diagrams, we are showing a finished pillowcase. I separated the panels, the front from the back, okay? Just to, for clarity. However, I have here the finished length and the finished width of a queen pillowcase. Now, wherever you see FL in fabric calculations, it means finished length. FW means finished width, okay? So our finished length for our queen pillowcase is 30 inches our finished width is 20 inches and it is finished with a double hem at the opening okay now we use a double hem i'll show you a double hem all a double hem is is you fold once and then you fold twice okay so you have here a double hem you generally use a double hem to get rid of this unfinished edge here, okay? You can use a single hem, but your finished piece will not look as tailored. So preferably a double hem is good or is better. And also a double hem of two inches for a queen pillowcase is good because two inches will be pretty proportionate to the 30 inches for that queen pillowcase that you are making, okay? So let's move on from our finished lengths and widths of our pillowcase to our cut length and width because that's what we need in order to do our fabric calculation, okay? So our cut width will be 20 inches which is our finish width plus our seam allowances on both sides now we have seam allowances on the front panel we have seam allowances on the back panel whatever we do to the front panel we do to the back panel so we have half an inch for the one side half an inch for the other side which is one inch for your seam allowances 20 inches for your finish width so that's 21 inches for your cut width so that is how much fabric you're cutting in order to be able to stitch and get your finished pillow at the right size okay so that's 21 inches plus 21 inches your cut width 21 inches plus 21 inches equal 42 inches so the width overall width that we will need for our pillowcase is 42 inches now generally decorative fabrics are 54 inches or more okay so if we have 42 inches for our overall width it means that the 54 inch fabric we have would have already covered our 42 inches okay so let's now concern ourselves with our cut length now our cut cut length is 34.5 inches 
for one pillowcase that is. Gen there are 36 inches in a yard of fabric, which means that one yard of fabric covers one pillowcase because our cut length is 34.5 inches. However, generally we have two or more pillows, right? So let's calculate how many yards of fabric we will need for two pillowcases. What we do is we take our 34.5 inches here, we multiply by two because we need two pillowcases and we get 69 inches. When we go to the store, we're buying fabrics, fabric in yards, not inches. So in order to find out how many yards we will need, we will take this 69 inches and we will divide by 36 inches because there are 36 inches in one yard of fabric. So 69 divided by 36 equals 1.91. We round up, so we have two yards of fabric. Always round up when you're measuring for fabric, never round down because you don't want to run short of fabric. It's better to have excess than to have too little. So we will need two yards of fabric to make two pillow cases for our queen bed. If you need four pillow cases, then go ahead and multiply 34.5 by four and then divide by 36 because the answer we get here will be in inches, but we need yards. When we need yards, we divide by 36 because there are 36 inches in one yard of fabric. Now, thanks so much for watching, for subscribing, for liking my videos and commenting. If you have any questions or any ideas for me, just go ahead and let me know. You could also Check out my website at valerinevernon.com. There I have cheat sheets that you can use to do your calculations. Until next time, you take care and thanks for watching.